MFA Help Ghana is focusing on improving maternal health at the level of both community and healthcare facilities through the use of evidence-based, feasible and cost-effective interventions in order to achieve accelerated reduction in maternal newborn deaths. Survival of the human race depends on a successful pregnancy and childbirth. This means pregnancy and childbirth are events to be celebrated in the life of a woman. But for some women, far from being a celebration, they actually lose their lives, discharging an obligation placed on them by nature. The maternal death is an unfortunate and unnecessary tragedy in our time, and every resource should be harnessed to mitigate this in our society. MFA Help Ghana will look at four major problems troubling the maternal health campaign towards achieving the MDG 5 target of reducing maternal mortality rate by 75% before 2015. What is the population of Salaga? 220,000. How many doctors? One medical doctor. You know, it's, it's, it's outrageous. It's, it's just extremely difficult. Tamale Central Hospital. The acute shortage of skilled staff is all too apparent here too. Dr. Patrick Bampo is the medical superintendent. Saturday like this, we had one midwife working from 8 in the morning to 8 in the evening. The Mar Presby Hospital. Peter Jesse, the principal nursing officer, is on his daily rounds. He makes a regular stop at the antenatal department where the nurses work under quite severe pressure. Only one midwife and one ward in the maternity. That weekend, that midwife had what is considered here a not too hectic spell of duty. 18 deliveries and then 5 CS. At the moment, our staffing situation is really very poor. You may have a health center superintendent who is a medical assistant, no training in um, maternal health uh, and in most of these facilities it's only a midwife that might provide the care. In terms of doctors, about 80% are in Accra and Kumasi and the rest can go to the rest of the country. I'm sure the nurses are not far behind and the pharmacists are even worse. Dr. Derek Martin, I'm actually a general practitioner here in Keta Municipal Hospital there. Our daily routine is usually pretty hectic uh, because we are really short of staff. We are only two doctors here. We usually work 24-7. Um, I must confess, it gets to a time it's really stressful. There are a few times you feel like just running off a little. We travel again to the north of Ghana, where the vast savanna includes many isolated villages and remote settlements. Access to healthcare. It's really a problem. Apart from distance, also there's a cost to get into health facilities. In most places, the easiest way to get to health facilities is on a market day when there's a vehicle that arrives and then you can go. Salga to Kafaba. One of the worst roads in Ghana I can see. If somebody is seriously sick, without the market track, we have to rely on the cheaper track. If the tipper truck is not in town, then we go on motorbikes. During the raining season, the roads get flooded, cutting off many communities. Reaching a hospital during the night is even more daunting. By nature designs them. Most women tend to have to go into uh, labor and deliver in the night. The truth of the matter is that people are taken into health facilities on a motorbike, bicycle, on a donkey cart, even in a wheelbarrow. That's the reality on the ground. Kafaba, an isolated village on the banks of the Black Volta. A pregnant woman is in distress and needs urgent attention. She's rushed across the river to a clinic where midwife Brahma recollects a similar case. The woman had been an attendant and I advised her not to deliver at home. There was no way the woman could have delivered. That notwithstanding, the cloth is spread on the floor and the medications applied only to confirm the obvious. They cannot help. You can't get 
uh, in touch with anybody from here. The network comes on and off. Everybody's phone is off. On this note, I have to carry this woman on a motorbike. Look at the distance. It's about 20 miles. This woman was struggling. I was also struggling with her. She was admitted in the following day. This woman passed away. She died. We need to empower women to manage holding homes to help the isolated communities. Holding homes can definitely help isolate communities, but one needs the cooperation of local midwives. Their role within health delivery has however become controversial. To work or not to work with them is now a major policy dilemma. Professor Binka still thinks they have a role to play under supervision. Charles Abugre goes further. He was part of the team that piloted a new health model in northern Ghana during the late 1990s. The focus was decentralization, working with the community's own resources. The greatest health resources of the local community are those who provide informed health services informally. In the case of reproductive health, it was traditional midwives and attendants. The role that this program gave to traditional midwives and attendants was not simply delivery. They were to act as a focal point for community health care. Throughout the country, dissatisfaction with hospitals runs deep. We met several women who complained bitterly about rude health staff. Complaints were particularly common amongst poor rural women. The Ghana Health Service takes these complaints seriously. Reducing maternal deaths is critical to achieving the United Nations Millennium Development Goals. It demands a range of coordinated interventions, renewed focus on family planning, skilled care and delivery, emergency obstetric care, targeting poor communities and effective monitoring, and above all, sustained political commitments to address the issue. We can reduce maternal mortality to 0% by first tackling the major bottlenecks, changing the traditional beliefs against the hospital by the rural communities, helping get the midwives to the communities to help with pre- and post-antenatal care services for a better delivery, supporting the rural hospitals with some facility facelift and provision of hospital equipment. If these major bottlenecks to maternal health are to be effectively removed within the next two years, the government of Ghana will need support of all stakeholders, the Ministry of Health, the Ghana Education Service, and all bilateral and multilateral donors, private sector, civil society, NGOs, and individuals. So tell me this That was just an example of God giving responsibility to a woman to continue humanity through procreation. The maternal mortality fight is on. Support the campaign by logging on to www.mfahelpghana.com and contact us via email info at mfahelpghana.com. We have come a very long way from 1990 trying to attain MDG 5, but still there is a lot of work to be done. This is why every effort should be put into mobilizing resources to mitigate maternal or pregnancy related deaths.
divisions strike